guys and welcome back to Katie Actually. Today's video is a Father's Day DIY where I'm going to show you how to transfer a photo onto a piece of wood. This is a great gift because you can choose the photo that you decide to put on this piece of wood. It's something handmade so your dad will treasure it and it's kind of rustic and sort of outdoorsy so if your dad is into that like my dad is, he might appreciate this more than a glittery frame with a photo in it. So if this is something that interests you, please watch on. So first things first, I'm going to tell you what all you need for this project. First and foremost, you need a photo of you and your dad that you want to transfer onto a piece of wood. And second of all, you need a piece of wood. So I've picked out a photo of me and my dad and my sister that I've always loved. And I went and I made a photocopy of it on just regular printer paper. Um, and then I went to Michael's, or you can go to whatever local craft store you prefer, and I picked up a piece of wood. This is the Basewood Country Rounds. Um, how big is this? This is the small size, but they come in a different variety of sizes, and you can choose whichever one you think is perfect for your dad. I've also picked up something incredibly vital for this project, which is the Liquitex Professional Matte Gel Medium. This was found in the acrylic paint section like the adult professional acrylic paint section, not the kid acrylic paint section at Michael's. And you can get it online, you can get it at a bunch of different places. So this is what I'm going to be using. I also have a little spongy, I don't know what you call this, brush, I guess, a little sponge applicator, and some scissors and a piece of paper that I've laid down just to make sure I don't get anything on the table. I've already done this step, but what you want to do is trace the photo that you were going to transfer onto this piece of wood to make sure that it's going to fit nicely because you don't want a very strangely shaped photo transferred onto your wood. So I've just outlined the shape of the wood and I'm going to go in with my scissors and cut um, the excess paper off. gel medium and I'm just going to apply it with my sponge applicator all over the wood surface. Do this liberally. Don't be afraid to get in there with this stuff. Once you've applied as much as you think you need, smooth it out so it's all even. All right, now you just want to take that photo that you printed off and place it right on top of that gel medium, of course, the color side down. And once you've positioned it where you want it to be, just try to smooth out any bubbles that you see. And that's step one finished. You just want to let this sit at least eight hours. I'm going to do overnight and then we'll come back to it tomorrow morning. Okay, so now it is a day later. I have let my picture on my wood sit overnight and dry and now moving on to part two. In this part you will need a damp washcloth or any sort of damp rag that you have laying around, another little spongy brush, and some Mod Podge. So I'm just going to take this washcloth and put it over my um, piece of wood and just let it kind of soak for just a few minutes and uh, really get that paper wet so it's easier to scrape off. Now you just take your washcloth and start scraping off that paper and the ink from the photo will actually have transferred all the way over to the wood so you don't have to worry about scraping your picture off, just scrape the paper off. paper off otherwise it'll have a sort of white kind of residue left on it that makes the picture hard to see so you really want to make sure you get that paper off so what I do is I go over it a couple times with my washcloth just to make sure I get everything off and then I let it sit there and dry and I look at it when it's dry if there's still white residue go back in with your washcloth okay I wait as long as I can I think it's dry enough what we're gonna do now is just take that sponge applicator and your Mod Podge and you're going to put a thin coat over the top. I like to do maybe about two coats of the Mod Podge on top and then let that dry. 
Now just sit and let that dry for about 20 minutes and come back to it and you can check it out. It'll be done. And there you have it, final product. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave any comments you have down below. And if you decide to do this for your dad for Father's Day, please send me your photos on social media. I will leave all of my links below because I would love to see them. And until next week, I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, you're still around? That's really nice of you to stick around and just kind of hang out and watch my credits. That's totally cool. If you want to see last week's video, click right there. And if you want to see my latest blog post, click right there. And like always, hit the subscribe button down below if you want to see more of this. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend.